hello and welcome to magic autocad in today's tutorial i'm gonna walk you through the 3d interface in order to switch your workspace from 2d to 3d you come down here at this workspace switching then you drop down then you're gonna see 3d basics and 3d modeling so for now let's work with 3d modeling so i check on the 3d modeling then while waiting so the interface is gonna look like this so looking at this interface up here at the ribbons you're gonna see that the tools are pretty different okay they are new tools for the 3d uh, especially under uh, modeling you have different tools at the drawing area then up here you have solid editing then under draw uh, just few just few tools have been changed in fact they are added sorry then under modify you see that uh, some few tools have been added and so on and then coordinates have been added which were not on the 2d so let's get started so in order to change the space to an isometric view you come over here to the view cube this is called view cube then directly above you are going to see this home icon okay you left click on this home icon and then you're going to see an isometric view where you are going to do all your 3d drawings in case you didn't see this home uh, icon here you come over here to the extreme left of this workspace and then you're gonna see this minus okay the view part control then you left click on that then here you're gonna see the view cube and then you make sure you check on view cube here okay as you can see here it's checked okay then you're gonna you're gonna be activated over here so in that case let's move over here to this view cube first of all let's quickly make let's go under modeling and do a box okay you left click on this box then you come somewhere here let's make a box okay then you draw it to the second point then you click then you take it upwards then either type in a distance or you just click let's just estimate and click there that is our box <clears throat> then now this view cube is going to be used to rotate this box okay we're going to see that so this box got 26 control points that you can use to control this uh box so as you can see as i move my cursor you see the various points okay you see the various points so when you count all the points they're going to be 26. so firstly when you click at the front okay at the front view this is how you're going to see the front view then the same when you click on the top then this is how you're going to see the top view of your box then now let's click to the southwest to, to, to go back to the front okay then on the other way let's click on the west to go to the left view then we click on the right to go back to the front so like that then you can also use these arrows behind here to rotate your box okay to rotate your view then you click and cl clockwise or anti-clockwise okay then it goes like that then now to come back to the original point okay to the basic point you click on the home icon and it's gonna take you back to your original point to the isometric view again you can find the properties of this home icon okay when you click on this icon right behind here you drop down 
then you're gonna see par okay which our drawing is now then you have when you click on perspective perspective view that is what you find which normally this is how our review is gonna look like again you can also go to the perspective with uh, auto faces set current view as home and then view cube settings then if one is set your view cube okay then you can also click on the view cube and this view cube setting is gonna pop up here then from here you can set your view cube the settings here we're talking about the size of your view cube if if only you want to change the size of this view cube either increase it or you decrease it or the quality okay the quality of the view cube then you can adjust it here now we are at the midpoint at 50 percent then you can also talk about whether you should hide or you should keep the view cube visible and many other properties so with that let's move straight to talk about the wcs then here it's either you work with a uh, wcs or with a with a new uh, ucs okay but now we are working with the wcs the original wcs so you want to create a new one you can create and when you create you're going to see that this coordinates you're going to have new coordinates so you can only create a new ucs if uh you want to create new coordinates okay so you can see that we have uh, x y z coordinates which we're going to use throughout in the 3d modeling in that let's move over here to talk about the view control this view control let's click down to see what we've got here this view control is the same like the view cube okay it got the same functions with the view cube. because when you look here you're going to see the top bottom left right front back uh sideways uh and so on and so forth okay then directly beside you have the visual style control yeah so let's drop down and see what we've got this visual style control it controls the view of this uh object okay so let's go to now we are at wireframe okay we are at wireframe let's click at 2d wireframe to see what we got so this is what we got a 2d wireframe then now let's move forward to click at conceptual okay you're gonna see the conceptual color then now you can change to hidden okay this is what you view for hidden then you can continue to change for realistic okay then you can also change to shade it okay shade is gonna be like this and let's go to shade it with edges like that so you can see the edges let me zoom so that you can see it very well and so on and so, so these various okay let's go to x-ray and see what it got so that is the x-ray So in that, let's go back to 2D frame, okay? Then let's change, sorry, let's change this to parallel, okay? It's in parallel. Then now, another place where you can see these same functions is under view, okay? You come up here under view. Under view, you're going to see the same visual styles, okay? here now we are at 2d wireframe okay so when you change it to conceptual okay that's what you're gonna find then now let's go back change it to sh uh, shade gray so you're gonna find the shade of gray and so on so any style that you change it to and then you're gonna see the visual of it okay so now let's go to where let's talk about orbiting in order to orbit your object in order to orbit this box let's talk let's first of all see 
the first place where we can orbit so directly below this v cube you're gonna see uh you're gonna see this ellipse okay you're gonna see this ellipse labeled south north west and east okay in order to orbit it you left click and hold your mouse to pivot okay to keep it in place where you can just orbit then you can orbit it left and right along the uh, x and y axis you cannot orbit it along the z axis okay so no matter how or the direction which you move your cursor you can only do it along the x and y axis so with that you let go and let's now talk about the next place where you can do your orbiting direct here let's come down here along this set of two bars here you have orbit okay now we are at orbit when you click here on this orbit you're gonna find something like this from here you can orbit okay you can just pivot here and orbit click and hold then you can just orbit okay you can just orbit with this one you can orbit to all directions okay to all direction any direction you want to orbit okay you can go to any direction left right up down x y and z then now let's come back here to see free orbit with free orbit you're gonna see another ellipse okay with this small uh, secondary ellipse uh, circled so now any direction which you rule your cursor that is the direction which you orbit okay let's start from here you rule it this way it's gonna go this way it's gonna go then this way it's gonna go just like that okay so you can keep orbiting okay you can orbit to any direction anyhow you want it to be then now let's talk about yeah let's come back to the normal point then now let's talk about the free sorry continuous orbit with this continuous orbit you can orbit and allow it to continue okay yeah you can you can just go like that to any direction you want it to go and then let's move this direction and then we just continue to go by its own okay when you push it to this direction then you continue to orbit and go just like that so with that in order to stop it you right click and then go to exit okay now you go back to the home icon to come back to normal now let's talk about these other zoom tools okay let's come to pan then left click on pan in order to use this pan and you're going to see the pan here okay you're going to see the pan so in order to use this pan you left click somewhere here then you're going to see let's zoom let's zoom this string then you click on zoom then when you pivot it at any point okay and then when you pull it this way it's gonna go to minus okay it's zooming in and then when you pull it you're gonna go to a plus okay it zooms out just like that so it's just about zooming okay let's right click again to see 3d orbit okay and then you can orbit right click and pivot to orbit okay you can continue to orbit so just like the other functions also okay in order to exit you right click here and then you go to exit then this other this zoom ex extent this one is also zoom okay they are all about zoom 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 and zoom okay they are all zoom tools then the same with this one it's zoom okay all this one is zooming then now directly below here you are going to see uh, this cooking positions so it's talking about these icons okay so with that in our next tutorial we are going to go to the extrude press pull coordinates and many other tools so please don't forget to subscribe thank you click up here to watch the next video